Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher, and thanks for checking out today's video. Really appreciate that. And guys, today we're gonna give you guys sort of a foundational refresher course on how to choose the right color of jigs for different situations. Um, we've touched upon this a little bit before, but I wanna go into a little bit more detail on this one because um, jig colors are super, super crucial. You have to match the correct jig color to the certain time of the year, to the water clarity, to the sunlight conditions. And it can be a little bit intimidating because there's just a lot of different options out there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to simplify it a little bit for you guys if you're not real familiar and you're just starting out. I think this is gonna be a good foundational seminar. And today guys, we're gonna be talking about, this is my custom or my uh, signature series, my Block It Old School Jig. And I'll put the uh, link in the description of Baitworks. If you guys are interested, you can get some of these old school jigs. They're uh, uh, spent a lot of time putting them together. I think you guys will really like them. But anyway, let's go through some of my favorite colors. I'm gonna sort of tell you guys, you know, when I like to fish them, why I like to fish them in different situations. Shirt's all dirty here. I've been working out in the garage all, all afternoon. So anyway, let's start again with the black and blue. <clears throat> guys, this is probably the, uh, the most famous color in jig fishing is the black and blue jig. Um, it's probably accounted for more quality bass than about any other jig color out there. And there's certain situations when it works really good. For me, it's all about water clarity and sunlight conditions, which a lot of jig colors are, but specifically with the black and blue, I'm gonna be fishing at any time that I have water visibility, say less than a foot and a half. Ideally, if I'm fishing in water visibility, that's like six inches to 12, 13, 14, 15 inches, this is gonna be a really good color choice. It silhouettes good, it stands out good, um, yet it's, uh, it's just very appealing to the fish. Sometimes if, the, if it's like rainy and cloudy out and the uh, water is maybe three foot visibility, I'll still go to it. But if I can get them to bite a black and blue jig, um, this is the one I'm going to because I've caught so many good fish on it. Okay, the next one is sort of similar a little bit, but it's, um, this is a black and chartreuse. Now, my old school jigs, these are living rubber guys. These are hand tied with a wire skirt. So they flare out a lot more than a silicone jig. That's why I like them better. <clears throat> but the black and chartreuse guys, it'll get you a big bite. I, when I'm fishing black and chartreuse, I'm usually fishing dirty water conditions. Usually the water visibility is gonna be less than 12 inches, sort of that four to 12 inch range, off colored, uh, especially if it's rainy, super cloudy, the wind's blowing, uh, that little puff of chartreuse in there really acts as an accent color to get the, to trigger those fish and to hit it. So this is my dirty water color, black and chartreuse. You can, as far as the black jigs go, the dark ones, you can pretty much get by, I think, with black and blue and black and chartreuse. Now, when you start to get in cleaner water situations, like when that water visibility starts to get three foot clarity or a little bit above, um, I like a brown, guys, just a straight brown living rubber jig. I catch a ton of fish on it in um, cleaner water. The brown for me works good when that water visibility is sort of like uh, three to four foot clarity. That's, this is my favorite color with that. This is also, excuse me, a really good color jig around boat docks. For some reason, bass really like a brown jig around boat docks, but um, when I got that water clarity uh, in that, you know, three to four foot zone, I've got a brown jig on. Now the other uh, variations are a little bit, of, they're brown with different accent colors. This is another favorite one I like. This is brown and orange. Brown and orange guys works really good in the same water clarity, sort of that uh, two and a half to four foot zone. The orange actually allows you to fish it in a little bit dirtier water because the orange will stand out some. So I'll go down as dirty as two and a half foot of visibility with this. But the, uh, the orange on there really works good. I found in the uh, early spring, like in uh, when the water temperature is still in the, in the 50s, and again in the fall when the water falls back down in the 50s. So this is my early spring and late fall color I like. Now the last one that I, I use quite a bit is very similar. This is a uh, brown, uh, blue, and orange combination. Now this is very similar. It's a brown jig, it's got blue and orange on it. And guys, this is a great color to use in the fall time of the year. I don't know what it is about it, but that little you know puff of blue mixed with the, with the orange in there, it really works good uh, in the fall time of the year. In from pretty clear water, I'll, I'll use this up until where the water visibility is sort of like four foot clarity, and it works pretty good for that. Now, if the water visibility is um, really clear, like say if it's like over five foot of visibility, that is when I will go to a silicone skirt, like a green pumpkin silicone. 
Other than that, that's basically the colors I use under the situation. So anyway, I hope it helps you build a foundation for your colors there, guys. Just keep it simple and it'll add up to some good fish for you. So, so talk to you all on that later.